Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. It's me, Hugh Riley. It's uh, Jeanette Burke is here. Uh, yeah. Hi, Hugh. Happy Valentine's Day. This is an, uh, this is, uh, I'm just trying to get used to this. Like, we don't have big mics in our faces. And you know what that means, yes, it right? It means I look like nothing's in front of my face. Exactly. Well put. <laughs> okay. But I'm used to this. It's okay. Are you? Yes, I've done this before this way. Because, okay. On good. other I, 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 on My guest appearances on other shows. See, I'm, I'm, uh, it's kind of like, the, to me, it's kind of like this. You know when you go skating? Mm -hmm. If you're a guy, you always feel more comfortable when you're carrying a hockey stick, right? Because you can it's balance, you can, you just feel, they don't, but when you're skating without a stick, it's a little awkward, right? The other great thing about a stick is you can put it between your legs and sit on it and go like that, uh -huh. you know? You know what I mean? Well, why don't you just go skating with your wife and then you can hold each other up and have a nice romantic skate? There's one good reason for that, Jeanette. I don't have a good pair of skates. Oh, I this is my karma. You didn't have a good wife. This is my karma in this life. <laughs> okay. I don't have well, a then pair you of good go skates. And go over to Canadian Tire and get some. You know man. what? That's a good idea. When I was a kid, you know, you're growing as a kid. You always your feet. You know, skates. Good skates can be expensive, right? Yeah. I always used to go to the skate exchange. Oh, that's a good idea. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you can you can get secondhand skates at most. But they were crappy. And I would go there and I'd get these really crappy skates. That's why I'm not in the NHL today. Oh, is that why? Okay, okay. Anyway, that's, you know what? If you just want recreational activity, you can get skates at Canadian Tire. I want to get, they got new skates now. Bucks. They got new skates that have an air pump that pumps around your ankles to firm up the skates. Oh, that would be handy. And I want to get skates like that. That would be handy. They probably... Did you? Uh, you had those pump skates? Oh. Look at Rand Randy's way ahead of the curve. I haven't been skating in like 12 years, but I'd like to go. I used to do figure skating when I was a kid. Did you? Yes, and then, believe it or not, I forgot how to skate. How can and you I forget how to skate? And I had to learn all over again. No, seriously, I was like, I was doing the spins, I was doing the jumps, I had the little outfit, the little, you know, the uh, like furry warm, uh, what is it, skate warmers, I had with the matching, everything. I was like performing, everything. Yeah, loved the skate. Then what happened? I don't know, my parents had me doing too many other things like piano and all these different things when my mother wanted me to give up the skating. And did I actually you, liked it. Now you grew up in Belleville, right? I did. So yeah. did you have a backyard? Yeah, I'm we had a backyard. Did. did you ever make a pond in your backyard where you could go skating? No, we used to go to the arena, we used to go to the outdoor skating rink my dad used to take us and mm -hmm. it was fun. We used to have a great time skating. Um, and oh, they got, they had me into doing all different activities, including like there's a very uh, famous ballet school there run by. It's called Quinty Ballet Arts, but it's it's run Quinty? by yeah. I thought you said Quinty. No, Quinty, and um, I used to take ballet and jazz and all kinds of things. I was busy. I was like I needed a, a plan or a daytime planner. I hate that because <laughs> I was a busy kid. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm a busy woman. Yes. Anyway, so it's Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day. And I thought maybe you might like to see some, like I brought some uh, some L gifts Let's in. look at the panoply of Valentine's stuff. That I actually have received less the, oh, yeah, I less forgot. the roses. Ex um, you have so many lovers. <laughs> oh, yeah, a whole list. <laughs> it's a whole long list, and uh, this is just... Uh, These are for the guests. This is all you could fit in the trunk today. I yeah, mean, I know I, you could have rented a van and brought a lot more yeah, stuff down. Yeah. Uh, well, I just brought in... This actually was given to me for Valentine's Day by an ex-boyfriend. Uh -huh. And I kept it because I really liked it. And I actually liked him, but it didn't work out. Um, as with, I won this last year on my Valentine's Day date. I hope those chocolates aren't a year old. No, they're brand new. Okay, I just but I one. actually won this at uh, a Valentine's Day. I was out with, um, on a date with, and we had like different like friends together. So it was like a whole bunch of us. And we went and we had dinner and then we went dancing after and I won this in the dance competition. 
So it was quite nice. Very good. And then over here we have my sweet berry. By the way, did I mention I think before on, on the on the Christmas show that I actually collect teddy bears? That's why I get so many. I have a huge collection. So um, this is my sweet bear. I also got that for Valentine's Day. And I've gotten some jewelry too over the years. Um, this, hmm. which is a nice heart, the little diamonds and gold. And yeah, I've gotten some nice stuff over the years. Be nice to keep the guy now. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I'm going out tonight. So. That's great. Yeah. And, uh, and you know, Bon Jovi's in town. Tonight's their big concert. Is that who you're going out with? I wish. I did meet them though. Once. Yeah. Yes. Five years ago after their concert, I was sitting right beside them at, um, at the um, Four Seasons. What were they like? Avenue. Were they, they out were of okay. control? Uh, they were okay. John is very quiet and he does, he has his drink and food after the show and goes up to bed. I really admire him because he's actually still married to his high school sweetheart. Uh. Uh, the other guys are a bit rowdy, like yeah. um, the drummer, he was a bit rowdy. And of course, Richie Zambora is a bit rowdy, but we, that shouldn't come as a big surprise after the whole him and Heather Locklear cheating with her with the best friend Denise Richards uh, story. You, you know, know a lot that. about this stuff. Uh, I know, I Jeanette. keep up with all this it's stuff. Good. It's good to pay attention to this stuff rather than I politics. Keep, oh, I keep in touch with all of that too. I keep in touch with everything. What's your take on the Cairo situation? Well, you know, that's uh, interesting you should ask. I, I thought they were setting it all up. El Barati was going to come in, right, and be the, uh, just, you know, manage Egypt on behalf of the global Illuminoids for the next little while. But I don't know what's, I haven't heard much from El Barati lately. Have you? No, it's more or less they're just celebrating that. Celebrating that Mubarak stepped down? Yeah. Now, here's a weird conspiracy theory I heard. Okay. Chair. Sure. I heard that it was because... It's all being set up, of course. It's all a big conspiracy, right? Because uh -huh. Mubarak is too friendly to Israel. That's what I heard. Uh -huh. And they want to get somebody. They're trying to create tension between the Islamic world and the West, right? So if Mubarak, so they got to get in, you know, somebody that's, you know, going to well, foment you know, it's problems. Well, you should mention that because um, although I would like to see, like, peace in the Middle East, and I was yeah. happy that they had come to some sort of amicable resolution, I too wondered, you know, all along, what's this going to mean for Israel? What's yeah. this going to mean for Israel? And of course, the U.S. backs Israel quite a bit, but with the shifting of power and uh, the assumption that the next big ruler of the world is going to be somewhere in the U.S. Uh, sorry, in the Middle East, right? You're talking about the Antichrist. Yes. Are you? Yeah, we talked about this before. They they say that that's you know where the next big shift of power is going to be somewhere in the Middle East. I don't know whether that means Egypt or Dubai or what have you, but it's going to be very interesting to watch us out. They've been predicting this for quite some time. And so far, we see, you know, things are happening to maybe make this prediction correct. Do you think it's going well? Do you think the Egypt situation is resolving itself nicely? I think it appears it is for now. Yeah. But I, I doubt it. I don't think it's going to be that simple. For somebody who was so resistant to step down. Who? Now, Mubarak. Yes. Yeah, he was so well. resistant. Well, you know, maybe he had, I mean, you know. Pressure, okay, whatever, but I don't think we've, I don't think we've seen or heard the last of him yet. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, we'll I was see. thinking about it. I don't have a crystal ball, so I can't predict everything, but my feeling is it's not over yet. I think it's going to be just fine. That's my prediction. Okay. And I think we need the same kind of thing to happen here in Canada. Oh, really? Why? Because yeah. we're a passive country or what? Because what? Because we're too passive a country or what? Because of what they're doing in Ottawa. They're out of control. Out uh, of control. Period. Well, everyone, I mean, a lot of politicians, uh, you know, usurp power, right? In, yeah. in every country. It's okay, before we get on to the rest of the show, uh -huh. I noticed you brought some gelt here. No, no. What? It, it is gelt, but Secret. It's, it's, it's for the Care. segment. I withdraw that, that comment. Okay. I withdraw that question, Jeanette. Okay. Hey, how come I look so orange and you look uh, just perfect? Okay, <laughs> another question. When are we going to talk about uh, Valentine's Day, the history of it and all that? You want to talk about it right now? And then well, we'll, are I'd we doing it now or are we doing it in your segment? Uh, well, it wasn't really part of my segment. Okay, let's talk about but, it now. Okay, now. but let's just do it quickly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I don't know if you're aware of the history of Valentine's Day, but in fact, it wasn't always such a beautiful, lovely day for lovers. <laughs> no? It actually started out as... 